Cascade Dice, S Cascade. This dice is a behemoth, dude. I've never seen a bigger icon. So this dice will actually tell you which pool it's gonna roll into. Right now it says next pool treasure room, right? So when we roll this, we'll get something like Nancy Bombs. But you can see right there, the pool afterwards will be library. Very interesting. So this dice was created by Lily, uh, a modder that is just very, very, very talented. Creating very cool mods that we've played before, including the Salvation mod, right? That they're currently working on. The way this dice works is highly interesting, and I really wanted to try it out because there's a lot of strategy here. So the order of pools that it's going to roll into is actually, like, predetermined. I have the list here, right? So treasure rooms will go into libraries, libraries will go into bosses, bosses will go into secret rooms, etc. So the most effective thing that I think we can do is most likely try and roll the boss room because that will always go into the secret room, right? Like this treasure room that we're going to come into, if I roll with the cascade dice, it's just going to be a library item as you can see. So it's not going to be the craziest thing. So we'll just take the metal plate for the soul heart after I go to the curse room to be honest with you. And maybe we can save a roll. I don't know if I'm going to get one, but if I can roll into the secret room pool through boss is going to be uh, the best scenario in my opinion. Other notable roles, uh, planetariums come from crane games, ultra secret rooms are rolled into by planetariums, and the most important thing that I'm reading here is angel rooms roll into devil rooms. However, devil rooms roll into demon beggars. So I'm thinking to myself, it's probably not worth it to go to devils, right? Because what's gonna happen? Uh, I'll go to the devil room and then, uh, uh oh, I'm gonna roll it and I get like uh, the pact. You know, that's, that's cool, right? It might be more effective to go to angel rooms and then if it's not something I want you know I could roll a key piece into uh, you know the devil room that way we can kind of have like a weird duality thing going on nice secret room find so I think that's how I'm gonna play this I'm gonna go for angel rooms roll everything into devil pools as well as roll the boss which will roll into secret rooms as many times as possible treasure rooms seem low tier because they only get you libraries beggars are really low tier normal beggars roll into battery beggars battery beggars roll into bomb beggars and etc it's just not that impressive so i think we have to use our cascade dice and it's in situations like this right doing that will give us the highest rig potential in which i can just destroy the game or this could be wrong for all I know, uh, the best course of strategy is to go for planetariums and roll them into ultra secret pools because you can get Sacred Heart. Who knows? That really is the world's biggest dice, by the way. <laughs> My man is so large. Duke of Flies done for. Bro got power crept in the Binding of Isaac. How does that feel? Alright, nice. So we get Magic Scab. As you can see, this is guaranteed to roll in the secret room. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I, no. Sorry. No, 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 no. I'll, maybe I could buy a battery in the shop one second. I cannot, but I get compass. Compass is pretty sick. Yeah, I'll take a compass. It was good that I came in here, but we're definitely not taking TM Trainer. As funny of an item as that is, it's just going to completely ruin the point of Cascade Dice, which I'm, I'm just so interested in the strategies here that I, I really want to try it out. All right, little horn, you've got enough screen time. About five seconds. Time for you to go. <laughs> All right, so we have to roll this, right? We know it's going to roll into the secret room pool, even if it's blind. We won't go devils. What could this be? It's keeper skin. We, I mean, we did confirm it's secret room pool, so that's good to know. I was a little bit nervous. I'm not even going to lie. So all we have to do now is just keep doing that. And also in the future, take into account we want to roll maybe angel rooms as well, right? I, at this point, I mean, with how many keys I have, I, I might look like I genuinely am just going to get planetariums, which would be cool. I think, I think that would be just a cool way to go about it, right? That way we go to the planetarium. Hey, the planetarium is not that good that's okay you know why because you're gonna roll into the ultra secret room pool if you use the cascade dice here that's super sick i love that okay planetarium chance locked in angel room chance locked in don't exactly have damage but my spiders are helping me out right if i can land a key and get in this treasure room and buff myself up a little bit more we should be fine and i should be able to take damage hopefully land this angel room key no key all right we'll have to mosey along somewhere i'll go to the curse room maybe some soul hearts but i'm sure a key will drop eventually i'm not worried hello curse room goes into shop interesting from shop by the way it goes straight into the uh, treasure room pool so if i roll this twice i would get a door i would get a treasure room item do i want devil's crown full-on devil deals again devil rooms roll into demon beggar pool it wouldn't be the greatest but it would be better than treasure room treasure room rolls into stinky little libraries what do i want that for bookworm huh okay you know what i think this is a perfect scenario let's go for it see my main concern right now is health but at least for this floor i can actually take a couple deals without being or, uh, too worrisome uh, just because I have access to Danny Phantom mode. This is something I'm not too interested in. If I do take one of these items, I am locked into Devil Rooms. 
By that logic, would it be good for me to roll this item into the shop? I think so. My brain has to work overtime when using this dice, but it's really fun. Oh, that item's gone. I took Blood Puppy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so cute. I had to, you know what I'm saying? I figured Blood Puppy would be a good pick here, just because I really did need damage. And there's no way I was going to be able to fight the boss. Like, let's say I find Blub base damage tiers. It's just not going to happen. I will get I will get diffed. I'm just going to rely on Blood Puppy to take care of this fight. It's luckily, it's just Rainmaker. He's done for. There's no way you survived the onslaught that is blood puppy look at that guy go nice no angel that's okay do i roll growth hormones god do i want to oh man i mean it's secret room pool I, I okay how about i take this and then i take purposeful damage and we take out the boss challenge room and then we'll roll that instead that could be more fun oh how did i not get hit <laughs> i just matrixed blood puppy my man just got diffed. Oh my lord. I feel like a god. Let me in here. Okay, definitely. Oh, I want to roll that too. Wait, what? Interesting. I guess this counts as uh, not boss room pool. I mean, by all accounts, this should not be treasure room pool, right? But I I'm taking it. It's cool. So taking that into account, these don't roll into demon beggar pool. They actually roll into libraries. Okay, interesting. I was actually incorrect about that. So I guess it doesn't matter, you know, the special pool, right? Like through Devil's Crown or boss challenge rooms, that doesn't matter. What matters is just the room you're in. Is that another reverse card? You're joking. I'm being blessed today. There is a god and they're named Dogma. Excuse me, reverse stars? I need to use lovers on this floor now. All right, well, let's do this. Let's take care of Rainmaker. Let's see how fast you can take care of it. He just grazed him and did a fifth of his HP. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, Rainmaker. We get Dogbone. This will roll into Secret Room Pool, so we definitely got to do that. I agree, it's very interesting. We can't roll it again into Secret Room Pool, right? Because now we're going to roll into Beggars. So we take this. I agree, it's very good. We'll use the Lovers in a Secret Room, I guess, and then take the Reverse Stars with us. Hello. Boom. Raw Liver. Great, you know what? I just gained 1 HP. I will say the compass is immensely helping me out here, making sure I'm minimizing my reroll wastings, right? Every t Oh my god, there's a wild card. Wait a second. <laughs> Give me a Diplopia. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I have a wild card on top of a reverse stars. What are today's cards, dude? Hello? These cards are crazy. Okay, there could be big plays here, right? Let's see if we land an angel. And if we don't, we'll definitely roll the boss into a secret room. We get an angel. I want to roll it because it seems the most fun. We have a bomb for the angel pool as well. Yeah, there you go. See, next pool is devil room. So I want to see if this key piece will also roll into the devil pool. All right, good stuff. This will roll into the devil pool. This is perfect. Boom. We get uh, conjoined progress and jello. We can't take jello. Maybe the, go the angel stays open. That is more than wishful thinking. That is uh, wishing upon a star thinking. We're also getting a surplus of money because of Eye of Greed. A highly underrated item. If you can hit all your shots and you don't miss, you just get so much money off this thing. Roll again. Oh! And that's what we were waiting for. Okay. I mean, there you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> There's the strategy. Got it. Moving on. I mean, I could use stars with Glitch Crown right now in the secret room pool and uh, probably just get whatever item I want, right? Like, I, I, I see that can happen. Oh, you can freeze Blood Puppy and you get money back for it? <laughs> Infinite money trick. What the hell? Thank you. Uh, let's see. I mean, habits good. Curses that don't exist anymore in the video game is also good. But honestly, uh, habit seems so strong. The, the number one thing about this item I'm noticing that is a struggle is getting multiple charges, right? So this will definitely help us along. We even probably have a blood bank here. Yeah, we do. Okay, at this point, you know, obviously, if there is a good devil item, I will just take it. I just really wanted to see what this angel room play would do for us. So what is it? Uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I didn't expect to get Glitch Crown, right? So otherwise I would not have gotten alternate floors. Uh, but that is a two heart deal on the right. I kind of just want to try for it. Oh, we'll never know. My bad. I messed it up. It's pretty hard to do Glitch Crown blinds, huh? Just based off of the, uh, the hearts. You don't have any indication since the blind really doesn't roll into anything else. My bad. Oh well. It probably wasn't good. I'm coping. How about we do something like this? We use the reverse stars in here. Boom. Then I got boss items, but Cascade Dice will roll this into the secret room pool. I even have a wild card available. Should I do this? I'd lose metal plate. I don't care about metal plate. Yeah, sure. Why not? Boom. There you go. And now I just need to get a roll real quick, which I definitely have because I have batteries and have it, right? That's all I'm saying. This is actually really fun. This Cascade Dice is very in-depth. And now using the Cascade Dice, we roll into the secret room pool with Glitch Crown. We GG. Oh, it only works once. 
Good to know. I would have never predicted this. Well, I wouldn't have done that at- <laughs> What? God damn it. I wouldn't have done that if I knew that. Alright, well, it's okay. And you wanna know why it's okay? Because why take 20 secret room items when you can take 4 beggar items? Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so happy I got bum friend. <laughs> All right, a little bit of an L. I, even I won't deny. I can't deny th how much of an L that was, but whatever. We move on. <laughs> Does it really matter when you have glitched crown? We got a planetarium. Oh, there goes my health. I'd like to roll this into the ultra secret room pool. That would be really cool. So if I walk in here, it'll be five planetarium items. I don't want to roll these. Sorry, not going to happen. <laughs> Terra is far too strong. Uranus was also there, but I would prefer Terra right now. And then Satanic and Damocles. Are you joking me? Oh my God. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Another two heart deal there, but I'm actually a little bit more nervous about my health than I'd like to admit. Our damage is good though, at least, at the very, very least. Shop here, balls is very nice. But I'm definitely gonna prefer the jumper cables here just because of how much value it can provide you. I need a soul heart as well. Oh, wow, okay, Jesus Christ. I didn't think you would literally murder him. What was in here? Uh, these aren't too impressive. I could roll this into the demon beggar pool. Or I could roll the left two items into maybe a secret room pool. Uh, I think I have to roll this into secret, right? I mean, those are really good, but I'm looking for the big boy items. Boom. That is not secret room pool. I have been scammed. Well, guess I'm taking it. Don't even know what's happening anymore. Oh, well. I don't get it. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> I'm just going to take whatever catches my eye with Glitch Crown. And then press Cascade Dice whenever I want. That's how this video is going. <laughs> Cross space here, we got a black market, excuse me? Mr. Gift is basically guaranteed in here. Diplopia, I could have broken the game. Let's get you, place you in the secret room, like an absolute classic, and give me rock bottom real quick. Hello, boom. Oh, mm, why did I spawn too? I have Damocles, that's right. Oh my God, I got hit with Damocles. I'm not mentally prepared for this. Well, I have to take inner child then, right? Yeah, we have to take inner child. Unfortunately, nothing crazy from the secret room, but it happens. And then I think I'll take the school bag for fun. I could have diploed mystery gift that might have been more value, right? But I'm trying to have fun with this cascade dice because I'm really interested in how it works. It's confusing me. If I roll this secret room and cascade it into the beggar pool, it will not glitched crown. It will just be one singular roll. Is that correct? Did I, did I finally figure it out? Okay, I get it. I understand. Uh, Dad's Lost Coin's a little disappointing, but whatever. Okay, I get it now. I get it, I get it, I get it. Whoa, that took a lot of brain power. <laughs> All right, so this should roll into... What? Doesn't matter. I'm taking almond milk. <laughs> Who cares what it rolls into? There's almond milk right there. My favorite type of milk. Except not really, to be honest with you. If I could have any milk, I'd probably take uh, whole milk. Whole milk's pretty based. Uh, Dark Bump's pretty good here as well. Unless, of course, you have the lactose intolerance moment, which, you know, that's fair. You can't really control that. There's that You just spawn with it. Some people don't even spawn with it. Some people just get the debuff, you know, halfway through their life, and that happens too. A shock moment for me? Oh my god, there's a birthright. Birthright, to be fair, doesn't do that much with Glitch Crown. It basically just gives me one extra option. Imagine if Glitch Crown gave you six options instead of five. But, I mean, of all the options, there that was the best one so i wonder if you fight mom and you roll her polaroid and negative i in theory i probably won't but i'm thinking about it would that become secret room pool very interesting i'm thinking about it don't get me wrong i i'm, I'm actually curious about this i guess we're about to find out right let me explore the rest of the floor and then we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out Oh my god, video games! I'm broke? The first time ever recorded that someone can't enter an arcade. Excuse me? Did I agree just like make me bankrupt? Hello? Thank you for the coinage, thank you. Ah, oh, it was bum friend, I bet you, right? Okay. I mean, who knows? This could be an item, four secret room items, boom. Okay, yeah, it had. Oh, that's the of it. <laughs> You never expect the fifth item in Glitch Crown's rerolls to be Death Certificate, but when it is, you're pretty happy. I, uh, I've been farming for Rock Bottom basically the entire game. How about I just take it, and then I'll, I'll just have full-on fun with Cascade Dice, right? I'll stop worrying about rolling secret rooms from boss rooms. Oh, I missed you. My bad. Hello! What's good? Rock Bottom won't do that much for us unless we get major damage or major tears, but it, with Glitch Crown, it's just going to happen, right? So it's 100% worth it. Long run, 35 minutes, Mom too? What the heck? Hello. Well, we landed a death certificate and we basically landed the planetariums and everything else that's rare. So I'm considering this a success. God damn it, keep your head. Crane Games, excuse me, what happened there? I was gonna spark a conversation. <laughs> What are you doing to me? Why is there a small rock over there? You definitely can. What is happening? Dude, 
Stop spawning items. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> you definitely can roll the Polaroid and negative into the secret room pool, which is sick. Uh, not gonna do that. These go into secret room pool because they're in here? Or is that a lie? Am I being maliciously lied to? I don't know. Roll? Oh, they are secret room pool. What? Okay, cool. Well, we get Saucig. We get- We get Super Bomb? So worth it! What? Oh my god, that was sick! I actually got a natural Super Bomb without breaking the game? Well, uh, <laughs> what's your definition of breaking? Uh, we can't not take any of these. Well, that was so good then. Thanks for the pyro. Uh, goat head is goaded. We're probably gonna take that. Uh, and the rest of these I don't care about too much, right? I think we take goat head, and I think we take Athame. Alright, good stuff. This turned out to be actually very, very successful. A good endeavor. Cascade Dice, you might have confused me in the very beginning, but now you've gone and impressed me. What is in here? Hello, is you. We have a 100% deal chance. We took it, uh, goat head on the last floor. So the only reason I murdered that guy is because I am filled with pure malice. I'm not even worried about Damocles. Are you guys? I'm definitely not. I'm, I'm chilling. Damocles will not fall on me, I guarantee you. Another luck up. Oh, things are cooking, dude. What? What is that? And these are all- oh! Okay, bad timing, Damocles. What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, well, at least we know Damocles is not a factor anymore. These are like- what? What is this? This is 30 items just sitting here? Hopefully I get an HP up. That works. HP. Uh, that is- what the hell? Angel Room Pool? More HP, very cool. Conjoined? And Minecrafter. Uh, I don't know about that last one. Uh, I definitely want to take that two heart deal though. Maybe I can time this better than last time? Nope, I'm trash. Just kidding. Skill difference. Why is it- well, the two times I wanted the Devil Room, I'm blind. I have 47 tier rate. One day I'll be able to read, because <laughs> that is not a 7. <laughs> uh, all, all I'm hearing right now is cha-ching, 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 you're making money! Woohoo! Wow, what- what happened here? <laughs> This- this turned out to be crazy good. It's me! I didn't even see! Thank you. Also gotta keep in mind my Hallowed Ground is available for rock bottom gameplay, right? So if I find any more tears ups, I'm gonna need to redo my, uh, Hallowed Ground proc so that way we can get even more tears because it multiplies, right? Right now, sitting at 42 tier rate though is just so nasty. I'm making so much goddamn money. We are stonks gaming currently. Goodbye gamers. Hello devil. Hello. These are good items, right? They aren't the craziest though. Oh my god, wait. Ayabalai will be so cool. I have to take that. I just realized how wrong I was. Dude, Ayabalai was gonna go hard. I want to just use the cascade dice here though, just to see what happens. Boom. Empty vessel. Actually straight up worth it. Thank you. <laughs> that actually worked out. Cool. All right, let's go. Where in the hell is the boss? <laughs> World's furthest boss? Bro is in a different country. Where are you right now? Ayabalaya will multiply our damage and give us piercing. Some of the best statistics you can get, especially with a high tier rate, which is something... I don't know. I think we have. I've been playing a lot of Payday 3 recently. I got into the beta early, uh, and I also played for that thing that no one should ever pay for, where people get early access, and I never recommend anyone do it. But I've been playing a lot, and I've been having a lot of fun. I think by the time this gets uploaded, Payday 3 will be available to the public. So hey, if you end up playing and you see me online, uh, make sure to say hi. I always love it, by the way, when people are like, Hey, is that Matt? And I'm like, hey, what's good? It just, it feels so fun. It happens to me constantly in Overwatch, where I just get to say hi to people. I just think it's the coolest thing ever. So yeah, if you guys see me just randomly gaming, because believe it or not, I don't just play Isaac all day. I am a gamer though. I do be playing video games. Uh, say hi, dude. You know, unless you're throwing my game, in which case, get out of here. <laughs> I've just- I've never made so much money in Isaac before. I just feel like I am- <laughs> I am the stocks master right now. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. It will not stop. What a weird and absurd synergy we came across. Okay, let's see how this works out, right? Because I am curious. Boom. Ah! Oh my god, I thought I died. Boom. What- what am I- Oh! Alright, well, it- I was correct, as you can see, even though it's kind of jittering around because it's trying to give me the item description of every single item on Earth, it would roll into the treasure room. Does that matter? No, I have Twisted Pair. Uh, Flatstone's cool. That would be- no, I already have Conjoined because I took, uh, Twisted Pair. My god, what a build. Uh, I don't need that. And- OH! Magic Mushroom! We gotta take that, dude. 100%. Okay, 2 health is a little scary, but I mean, look at the build we got. We're, we'll be fine. I suppose I should just reroll this just because I can. It's only going to be one roll, to be fair, but you know what? Why not? Maybe I can get Bookworm. 
Maybe not. We'll see. Oh my god. I'm surprised how well my Isaac's running right now. With how much money I'm making, I, I assume I'm gonna lag the game. This is actually a tears up past cap, so this should actually affect me if I spawn another hallowed ground, right? There you go, see? Plus 1.60. Very cool. If we roll this, this will go through the treasure room pool and then the library. I'll take the pointy rib. It's just- uh, you know what? I could not have thought of a more beautiful run for this exact dice. Now I think about it, like what better than a cascading amount of tears for the cascade dice, right? Like look at that, that's just beautiful. Wow, I'm actually satisfied. Wow, it actually looks really cool. Sigil of Baphomet? Oh dude, hell no. I got lazy mat, man. Oh, hello. Ludo? Definitely not. Uh, rubber cement's the coolest thing here though. So we'll take that, most definitely. Ow. Try not to die challenge. Level pretty easy considering my build, so don't make it- so, so don't fail. Because <laughs> that would be highly embarrassing. We can roll this again, it'll be a couple books. Uh, not that that's useful, but hey! Next roll, I get boss rooms, and boss rooms typically have HP ups. Maybe I can land myself a couple soul hearts. The, uh, the beautiful, like, golden rocks, multi-dimensional giga machine gun build is one of my favorites I've had in a while. I am just demolishing, really. What is even happening on my screen? It's, it's a, a nutcase build. We reroll moment, maybe? Oh man, Eden's blessing? Hell yeah, wait. I could roll into the secret room again. <laughs> is it worth my life? <laughs> what do I earn out of rolling in the secret room? Pretty much nothing. I could get a sacred orb though, I don't know. Evil Eye's gonna go hard here. Evil Eye will make me crash as you can see. I just spawn way too many. And each one of those evil eyes is shooting as many tears as I'm shooting right now. I, I really don't think I've ever shot so many tears before without lagging the game even a slight bit. We are, we are gaming currently, this is sick. All right, roll again. Uh, yeah, that, that ain't it. No thank you. <laughs> so, general consensus. Did I expect this to go the way that it did? <laughs> no, are you kidding me? What the hell happened in this run? <laughs> Am I happy with how it went? Absolutely, I had so much fun and I got one of the best builds I've seen in a very long time. Joker is gonna have brimstone. Oh! Chaka 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 chaka! That's what the fire sounded like. I can't take any of these, unfortunately. Not a single dead cat either, so I can't even like die. But hey, it showed up, so it counts, right? Goodbye to the lamb, you will last about 5 seconds. He's stuck on the ground. <laughs> He couldn't get up, there were too many tears blocking his way. Dude, what an insane dice, an insane build. We got super bummed, dude! I literally never get super bummed. GG's, guys.